Getting data into a line mix is going to be one of the first tasks that you tackle. So this tutorial is going to take you through the steps that are necessary. Here I have a data file that I've prepared. You can see that on the A column we have zip codes and they can be either text or numbers. Then we have three columns for territory, district and region. And then we have some data that uh, we're going to be pulling in, sales, calls, A, B and C segments, and then index 198. And we'll talk a bit about index in future tutorials, but basically a territory with an index of a thousand units is uh, perfectly aligned. So that's the average uh, for each of the territories. So that's the data. Uh, let's now go over to AlignMix and import this data in. This is the screen that you see when you start a line mix. So I'm going to go ahead and click the application button, hit new and alignment. This is US data, so I'm going to select the US five digit zip, and here we have a description, version one. I've also got an example of uh, the format and the number of shapes. So there's 41,727 in this file. So let's click that wait for a moment while it pulls all that data in and then we're going to import the data now you do that with the import and then we're going to do the alignment data first so click on that and a expert comes up now you can obviously import different levels and you have to just iterate around to do these so the first one is zip to territory. We're going to uh, pull that in. So hit next. Then we have to select a file. So that's the sample alignment data that I prepared. As soon as that comes in, and make sure it's not open when you're trying to load it in, you should see the uh, the different sheets. And it's actually the first sheet. There's only one sheet, uh, which is the data sheet first thing you have to do is select which column holds the zip codes and these are going to be used to link the data uh, into the zips so that's the A column you can actually double click on the top of the A column it'll take you to the next one territory column double click on B starting row is actually going to be starting row 2 then next wants to, you to confirm and then it loads the data. And once that's done, hit finish, and now you can see the territories. Let's zoom in to take a look. And you can see the territories. I'm going to put the world layer off. Uh, zoom into Central Florida. You can see the roads and where the territory boundaries are. Now that's the uh, alignment uh, zip to territory. Now let's actually add some data to each of these territories. We're going to do this by the application button, import, and then data. And it's a similar procedure. You select the file, sample alignment. You say what sheet it's on, and in this case the data sheet. Uh, it's based on either zips or coordinates, so you can have latitude and longitude for these, but in this case it's zips. So the zip column, and then select the data columns. And you can actually select multiple data columns here, so I'm going to select them all. Starting row, it's actually automatically uh, figured out that the second row is where we want to start. And then it starts to pull it in. Now you'll also notice that there is a button called show log. If there are any errors in the data, then this button will allow you to see those errors at the end of the import. And there are really two types of errors. We'll go over these while it's loading. The first type of error is if in the data that you're trying to import, there might be a zip code that isn't in the geography in 
column in uh, a line mix. And that might be it's a, an old zip code, um, and in which case you need to be aware of that and you need to map that data to a different zip code. Alternatively, uh, there may be zip codes in a line mix that aren't in the data as well. So those are the two types of, of errors. Nearly done. There we go. Finished. So now there's actually data in as well. Let's go to view data expert and you can now see that the, the data that's in there and uh, let's just use the the index uh, variable let's uh, make this a show in tree view to show you that feature so I'm clicking this point here and click OK go back to the alignment now you can see the variable for each of the territories you can see the this index 198 and there are 198 territories so this sums to 198 thousands and you can see that some territories have a lot more than a thousand and some territories have a lot less than a thousand uh, I'm now going to just have a look by putting the alignment labels on let's put index 198 on now I can actually see the value of the index by territory so I'm actually now ready to start realigning. It's that easy.